Hey guys, and welcome back to Now or Later, where we give you the verdict on the latest tech news. Today, we're going to be looking at an iPhone 15 Pro that's been deconstructed, and we are here with my buddy and my tech expert. Hello, I'm Kevin. I'm leading the Innovation Lab at Packmarket. And I'm Charlotte. I am not the tech expert, and that will become much more apparent throughout the rest of this video. So, Kevin, tell me, why are we taking apart this iPhone 15? We wanted to check if the iPhone 15 is actually more repairable than the previous one, as uh, Apple is mentioning. And so, have you found anything in terms of repairability with the iPhone 15's past siblings? What is different and what is the same? Pretty much the same. Uh, we can still repair batteries, cameras and screen for sure. But the new thing is actually the back case that can be uh, easily replaced. But it seems also that it breaks easily. Okay, I'll actually give that back to you then. Okay, so my next question is about Apple's part pairing system. This is when you get these notifications that are kind of jump scares that are telling you this device or maybe this part is not compatible. Will we be seeing that on the iPhone 15? Yeah, actually it's a thing since uh, the iPhone 10 now and it's still ongoing. Okay, and is this something that we should be worried about seeing or? Not really, it's just an information telling you that Apple didn't replace the part themselves. Actually, this year we swapped the motherboard in order to simulate this uh, full repair and we got four messages. Okay, but it's still an Apple motherboard. Yes. From one Apple phone to another. And still uh, Apple screens and Apple parts. And so Kevin, my last question is, would you say as a tech expert that the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Pro is more repairable than the previous iPhone series? Actually, it's exactly the same. If we uh, accept the back case that is now replaceable, the part pairing is still ongoing, so we can say that it's not actually repairable. So it sounds to me like Apple is trying to make their phones more repairable and more sustainable. However, they're still using new parts. And so maybe the best way to buy a sustainable phone would not be buying new at all, but be buying refurbished. Yeah, I didn't have to take apart a phone to tell you that. <laughs> Amen. We'll catch you next time on Now and Later, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.